Hello everyone, welcome back to Foundation episode 2 and uh, we are at the moment designing our little church that's going to be sitting here near our center of our marketplace and we need to gather quite a few of resources to build this one so to get this one done we need to get uh, 70 stone, 25 planks and 12 tools and we also want to unlock trading as soon as we can so we go up here we have the requirements, we have it. 20 planks, that's what we needed to unlock the trading with the North Burry. That means that uh, we can buy, for example, tools from, which is really, really, really what we're after to buy. And we can sell back a few different things as well. But mostly I would say we want to buy tools because that's the only way we can get tools. And we're kind of running low, we only had 10 tools, so we wouldn't even be able to finish our rustic church. So let's set this thing up then in our warehouse. We want to, for example, we want to have some lanks in here. Also want to have some tools. And the reason for that is when you do trading in this game, you have to have the thing that you want to trade inside of a warehouse, for example, or a granary if you're trading with food. So I think two transporters probably will be good enough. And that's the last people we had, so that should work pretty good, I hope. So our next objective them allow the purchase of trading panel in a trading panel. So we're going up to this one. And we want to make sure that we are gonna buy some tools. So we click this one, the green one. We wanna buy this until we reach 30 tools. I feel like that kind of works pretty good for me in the past. Could maybe go a little bit lower. It's gonna get quite expensive because it is quite expensive. To buy the tools in the beginning. Let's check how much it actually costed per tool. So it's 20 per tool, so 10 tools at 200 gold already. So that's like a 600 gold buy and maybe we want to decrease that. Yeah, so we don't spend too much too fast. So we're gonna buy tools up to 20. And when we get further, we will make our own tools. We might even sell our own tools to earn a little bit of money that way. And if we would want to, we could already start to earn money by selling these planks, but I feel like at the moment we don't really want to do that because we need our planks. So we don't really have anything good at the moment that we would like to sell to other people. But since we're shopping down a forest, we might as well want to get a forester. That guy will be planting new trees so we can regrow them. And I kind of want to have it outside here when we have like our lumber camp and our sawmills. I want to have it close to them so they will be working outside of here. So forester camp, we use it for reforestation. So get one of those houses. And it's only one person working here and they do a really really good job. I think I never really, when I played this before, I never really need to have more than like one forester. Like when you get further in the game, which I have never gone that far, then maybe you will need more because then you have a lot of big of land to run and then it means that you maybe need to have more than one forest but I feel now that it's good enough to just have one really. So that should be good but it wants me to get more people and it's pretty interesting I spoke about this a tiny bit in the previous episode that uh, a future update is gonna happen I don't know the date of it but apparently it's gonna change a little bit the requirements of getting immigrants to move into your city depending on how you're happy your people are and such things and so you have to beat their demands to get new people and if you don't do so sometimes there won't even come any people to join you and if they're really, really happy and you have a lot of houses open for grabs then it can move in like more than two per time so that is pretty awesome I, I'm really really looking forward to that because it will be changing kind of how fast we can get more people I'm gonna remove a little bit of green here I don't think it's gonna matter too much but I don't want to have houses like right next to the church. We have a little bit of distance at least. So let's see, do we have maybe, can we claim a free territory? Yes, we can. But it will also increase the royal taxes by 10 gold. And this area, like I spoke in the previous episode, this is gonna be a good area. Because we are gonna start working with some baking, make some nice delicious bread soon. So we might as well buy this ground and uh, then we can do some farming there and chop down the forest that should give quite a bit of trees. So that should be a good expansion. I hope you guys agree with me. And the next after that one is mostly gonna be, most likely gonna be this one. 
So we can expand around this area. Maybe out here we will see if we go that far, maybe. But uh, then later I would like to go up here on the hill here. Would it be awesome to make some big castle or like a big big church area over there? Would it be pretty sweet, pretty cool. So let's see then, uh, should we start to do our rustic church? Because that's a thing we need, need to do to get to the next level of our people. So currently in the highest one we have a surf. The next one is that... I don't remember the name of the next one. So we need to provide them religion. And I guess we can start to doing that. So let's start constructing this one. But like I said, we don't have enough stuff. We're pretty close with the stone, so that's good. Planks are also pretty close. We still need to get some tools, so hopefully one of our traders will go to the North Burr and buy some for us. It'd be awesome. At the moment we're kinda doing pretty decent with the gold, I would say. We're selling a few berries. How many collectors do we have gathering here? Only one. So I'm gonna increase that so we can have three foragers. So that means we should be getting more of these yummy yummy berries in our bellies, so that should be awesome. I also want to do fishing soon, and we might already be able to unlock that. Okay, we do need to get a 20 surf, so 20 of our current people, and then we need to have one of um, influence, and we already have that, so that means we could probably unlock... Um, we can go for hedge and uh, fish rat, but I'm, I think I will only go for fish rat, and later we can go for lord manor. But I'm gonna wait with that one, it's quite expensive to do, and I feel like we could wait with that one. We do not really need that at this point, but the Fisher Hut would be really awesome to get. So let's see here for, for reforestation. I don't want my people to go too far. We have to shop down in this area as well, we, we may as well do so. But I wanna make sure we regrow a forest kind of around this area, something like that. We don't have to do more than that, I think that would be good enough, I hope so. That's gonna be awesome, but we also do need to have a forest to work in there, and currently we do not have any free people that could do so. So something I would like to have now would be more people, then we can get a forester, and we only have one builder at the moment, so our builder Weona is working really, really, really hard, guys. Really hard. Two new builders are joining. Awesome. They are very, very welcome. We're gonna see them here soon. And I'm gonna name my town, since we haven't done so yet. So this is gonna be the Kingdom of Bantonia. Very fitting for Banto, I hope. I don't remember, were we able to change names of people? Because if we are able to change the name of peoples... I can definitely do so, if it's possible to do. Let me know, guys, if you know if it's possible to change the name for your uh, people. My lord, we need to choose who we want to help. So we have uh, choices to help the king, clergy or the people. And uh, this one have different requirements sometimes. So for example here for the king they want 30 berries. It seems all of them want 30 berries and we're pretty low on berries but we're still gonna try to do it. We can also keep it all for our people of course if we really need it. Um, but uh, let's see here. Let's go for labor. So labor, that would be our people. You can see the little hammer there. So we're gonna try to get 30 berries. So hopefully that I got a few more gatherers is gonna help with this. We could also do another gathering hut. Having two gathering huts per bush place, it seems to work pretty good in my experience. And we might have some berries sitting in the woods here, but I guess not. It's very, very dense, so it's kind of hard to see if something is actually inside of the forest. And this is just outside. <laughs> just without reach, let's stand here at the border. Can I take that? Give me the berries. Let's reach in. But we do have some stone. I think so. Where's that part of the other side? Ooh, okay, maybe that is also outside, is it? Oh, it could be inside. I'm pretty sure the berries is outside. Let's see how it's going here. Uh, we definitely need... Let's see here. Get a forester. Okay, they haven't arrived yet. So I'm gonna get one new builder. And then we are gonna get a forester. So we can regrow the forest and build a little bit faster. 
Okay, so we got them joined now, so a Forester. And Isabel, you're gonna be one of my new builders. So we will have at least two builders. That's gonna be a little bit better, I would say. Since we got a forest now, we should see some trees popping up soon. Look at that, already planting a few little fluffy trees. That little tree is gonna grow big someday. That's the guy with a creepy face. <laughs> Gotta love their faces. The first time I saw them, I was like, oh wow. But now it's like, oh that's funny. <laughs> it's kind of thing of the game now. The girls do not stare as much though. But she do look a little bit dead inside for sure. So let's see how far away are we from being able to get a wheat farm. We need to get the commoners and to get that we have to make sure we get our church up. And check the other needs. Mm, yeah, we might need to gather like a second gathering hut. Let's try that. Let's see if that's gonna help. We're just gonna have it in the forest, this one as well. No, they used it all my gold. Please get me some new gold, guys. Here we go, and very nice. Gotta be quick so they don't spend my gold. <laughs> Let's see how we're doing here. We are selling some, most likely. 128 gold, that's pretty good. I also checked if we are looking inside of this one. You can see the budget. So our income uh, the last week was 160. Upkeep 179, trade expenses 200, so... Kinda on the mine side now. We're getting two new people to join, that's awesome. Ooh, we have a pretty good amount of planks at the moment, that's good to see. If we produce enough, we might even be able to... ...sell some later on. Let's prioritize this one, because we want to make sure that uh, we beat this one. Because if we fail, we will lose a 2 in influence with our people, and um, that's not very nice. It seems we also get 200 gold. Oh, I didn't know about the 200 gold. Do you always get a little, little bit of gold when you finish this stuff? I haven't seen that before, but that's good. That is really nice. Isabel is assigned to construction. Very nice. We might want to start uh, expanding our residential zone towards this way. That should move it out on the way a little bit of the forest. We don't want to go too far up though, because I, I probably will have like a path going through here. We already, we already do have a road leading here, so that should be good. And then, most likely doing farming over there when we are able to do so. But we can probably expand this a little bit like that, and we might want to maybe do another well. You do see an area around it and I guess that's like kind of the area it covers. So we may need even more wells. We might even need one like down here. Then we're gonna probably need one sitting somewhere around here at least. We can cover the area with more wells so they have more places to gather water. And look at Fluffy forest right guys, it's growing so fast. Like I said, one forest is doing a really good job. He can probably carry a, like an even bigger area, but this should be good enough, I think. And it's kind of cool with this forest that you grow up like this, because it does seem sometimes that uh, these trees are like a little bit of a brighter greenish color than uh, the natural trees that was here from the beginning, probably because they are Newer trees, and these have been sitting here for a long time, maybe for many, many years. Many years, most likely. Trees do not grow this fast in real life, that's for sure. <laughs> a few days, and it's a big, big pine tree. <laughs> so let's see what kind of decoration have we unlocked so far. Decorative bushes. I'm thinking that I want to have some next to the church. That could beautify it a little bit, so we have one here, another here. For the sides, like, it could be nice, but I will wait because I, I will probably expand a little bit there. We're just gonna beautify this a little bit. 
So something like that should be pretty nice. And we can also do fence if we, if we want to, but I feel like the bushes, that's good enough of a fence. We don't really need wooden boards everywhere, just can look it kind of weird. So what we could do if we want to buy, uh, what we can do if we want to sell planks is that we can go to the trading and for example, let's say we want to sell planks whenever we have above, whenever we are above 60, we can sell planks. So for example, right now we wouldn't sell any planks, but if we go above 60 and we have like 80, we can sell 20 of those, because then we're still pretty good. Two villagers are joining. Nice to see more people coming in. This one needs to get done very soon. Let's get the last woodcutter in there so we can get a few more of uh, lumber. The splendor of your village has now unlocked a new chair of unlockables. The splendor of your village unlocked new chair of unlockables again. So we got our church. Very nice, guys. Look at that. The church is really one of the like first cool buildings you get in the game. That's kind of nice with the bushes there, pretty awesome. But this one can only contain 20 faithful attendees and we already are at 18 people. So as you can imagine, we will need a big one pretty soon and we're minus 200 gold at the moment. We're buying so many tools. Looks like we are definitely gaining berries, that's good. But we have to have 30 berries. We need this one to get done. Maybe it could be worth getting a second lumber camp. I think it might actually be worth to do so, because at the moment we're kind of spending all of our lumber to make planks. Which means, for example, the gathering house is taking a little bit longer. It just got done, but it's taking a little bit longer. And uh, getting more lumber should be good. But we have to wait, it looks like. We do need to acquire a bit more of gold before that happens. So let's go and we should have to turn this around, I guess. Two more lumber. Okay, then it will be done. It looks like the last wood is coming in and finally our second gathering hut is going to be done. And uh, we might have, yeah, we do have three people so we can fill this one directly and get more food. There we go. And we can also, almost, almost, we still need more, still need more splendor. Oh, we have zero splendor. So what we could, for example, do to increase that would be to update our marketplace a bit. So there are a few things inside of here. We can do like tents and stuff, but nothing we can afford at the moment. But we can do like a, a food sign that will give a half of splendor. We can do some barrels. They also give a half, so... Perhaps we can have that next to our well here. We can also do some benches. I don't think they sit down at them, but I think you can make it look pretty nice. So we can have some sitting around here, and that should be not too expensive to do. And we may as well, if it doesn't cost anything, maybe it does. It seems like it do not cost anything, so I'm gonna just make a new one here. I guess we may as well do two new ones. We can have another one of these. The reason I'm making two over here is because I'm thinking of moving this one. So this one might maybe not sit there later. Then we can have berries and we can have the baked bread in this one. And we remove that later because we still want to have it there. So because I have done that in the past, I like removed it. And then I just went downhill in money. <laughs> it didn't go very good, that's for sure. 13 berries. Need up to 30. It's gonna be a bit of a challenge, but we have 38, 38 more days to go. Two new villagers, very nice.
And we might need to do the um, stone mason hut soon. Do we need that for wheat farm? Doesn't look so, but uh, to do the wheat farm there's a lot of gold involved, so... Wheat farm 100 gold, windmill 200 gold, bakery 300 gold, so there's a lot of gold involved in this. So we might have to wait a bit with it. How much do we earn per plank when we sell them? Only 2 gold, so 10 would only be 20 gold, so... It's not very much we earn from it. Not much at all, really. But I mean, it's more than nothing. So uh, I think we will try to get the fisher hat and we can start selling some fish. That should give us a little bit more money. Because then we will be both buying some berries and some fish. And that also probably means that the berries is going to go up a little bit more. Because they will be eating fish as well. So they do not need to eat as much of the berries. I think it will work that way at least. Look at that, we're getting a few more houses. So nice to see ya. A village is definitely like starting to come alive. Ooh, look at that. Now we have some more decoration. So we have some of these decorate trees. Look at that, a fluffy old tree looking beautiful. And that's something I might want to have next to the church. So I think in between the bushes or inside of the bush. Oh no, we lost the gold. <laughs> But I'm thinking of having it like next to somewhere like that. Sometimes it's good to pause when I get a bit of gold. The one there and then we have another one sitting here when we get more gold pretty much. So there we go. Very nice. I might want to have it at the marketplace as well. But I don't know exactly where I would like to place at the moment. Some plant arcs. They're also pretty beautiful to use sometimes. Could put that some road signs, like, yeah, would be somewhere like this leads out to the fisher or something and the church is over there. Could be stuff like that. Go grab your fresh fish directly from the fisherman. And, or go to the church and get some religious, I guess. <laughs> Let's do a well out here when we get a little bit more money. Now we have it. And we're gonna do another well. So this one reach over here from over there. And we can do one. We have a good spot somewhere. Maybe... Is this too close? I think that's pretty good distance. Let's do it there. That should be good. But yeah, guys. Uh, this is gonna be it for today with the foundation. We did get our church done. So that is awesome to see. Probably in the next episode, hopefully, we will start work with uh, getting some fisher hats and start earning money and food that way. We can go out on the water and do some fishing. But I think it's going overall pretty good at the moment. We're getting more and more people filling up a lot of more work slots for us. So guys, thanks for checking out today's episode. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, feel free to leave it a like. Subscribe and hit the bell if you want to be notified when I upload new videos. So thanks for watching. Hope you all had a good, good time. And see you guys very soon again, everybody.